All right, good afternoon, everybody. This is Lawrence Michael, Operations Manager for Air Quality Remediation. Uh, this week's video, we're gonna discuss mold remediation on commercial projects. Um, the IICRC's S520 mold remediation standard dictates that for any mold remediation project, the very first thing that you do is to build a containment. That containment isolates the affected area from the unaffected area. So what you're looking at right now is what a containment looks like. This containment has to have caution tape put up, warning signs put up, and our essential business pledge because of this COVID-19 virus. Um, once we build the containment and block off the affected area from the unaffected area, the IICRC S520 mold remediation standard dictates that we establish negative air pressure inside the containment. Both of these things eliminate cross-contamination into unaffected areas. Inside this commercial project is our negative air machine. This negative air machine has HEPA filters inside of it. HEPA just stands for high efficiency particle air. Uh, in order for something to be considered a HEPA filter, it has to get 99.97% of the spores out of the air or off of the surface down to 0.3 microns. So uh, really 0.3 microns is really small. The air follicle on your arm is about seven microns. So we take this, uh, this stuff called lay flat. It's essentially plastic tubing that when you push air through it, it blows up and the tubing ducts the filtered air outside. So when the air is getting pushed outside, it creates negative air pressure inside of the affected space. Along with the containment and the negative air pressure, both of these things eliminate cross-contamination into the unaffected areas. So now we're going to take a look at what mold looks like so that way if anyone has mold issues inside of their commercial or residential property they know what to look for this here is microbial growth on uh, the different pews uh, wood surfaces are uh, pretty susceptible to mold growth uh, reason being is it's a soft porous surface and if there is a relative humidity issue or uh, a water incursion issue like a broken pipe or uh, in a basement a crack in the foundation or anything like that any water incursion issue is likely to cause mold growth inside of the area so in this case all of the pews uh, the organs and different surfaces throughout the church were affected with mold growth the IICRC, which we keep uh, going back to and referring to, is the set standard for mold remediation. So the IICRC's S520 mold remediation standard dictates that after you build your containment, establish negative air pressure, you go through and HEPA vacuum all the affected surfaces. Uh, this here you're seeing is a HEPA vacuum. HEPA is still high efficiency particle air. It gets 99.97% of the spores off of the surface down to that 0.3 microns. So after all the surfaces are HEPA vacuumed, they get sanitized with an, an EPA's antimicrobial solution. So here you see one of our supervisors uh, sanitizing the surfaces with an antimicrobial solution after it's been HEPA vacuumed. Once all the surfaces are HEPA vacuumed and sanitized, we do go through and use a fogger with an EPA's antimicrobial solution as well. But we'll probably touch on that next week when we do our video upload next Friday. Um, this is a big project, there's a lot going on, so obviously we won't be able to make it through everything in one day. But we hope to see you again next week. Uh, we'll continue on with our mold remediation project here at the church. If anyone has any uh, indoor air quality concerns at their residential or commercial property, definitely give us a call. Uh, we're on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, other than that, if anyone has any questions, give us a call anytime, and we look forward to seeing you again next week. Thank you all for coming. Stay safe, and we'll see you later.